What up, what up? We're here with the Baseball Bat Bros, and today, folks, we finally have the unreleased 44 Pro Project Power BB Core Bat, and this is the bat that Drew Burris, freshman for Georgia Tech Swings, and I think he already has like 14 or 15 bombs this early in the season, and I think this is going to be the next BB Core released from 44 Pro. It's going to be their end-loaded one-piece alloy. At least on TV, this thing looks incredible. He's lived up to the billing early in his Georgia Tech career. And another one, belted deep in the left. No doubter, Drew Burris. And the hype is not subsiding anytime soon. All right, folks, so a few objectives today. Number one, we are going to make sure that this new Project Power is indeed different than the current 44 Pro right here. This is the Alloy XP. We reviewed it. It barely lost to the Atlas, but for $200, that's a very, very good bat. And then we're gonna compare this to what I think is probably the closest bat and probably the most used one-piece alloy in college baseball, at least the end-loaded one-piece alloy. We have the significantly overpriced, but very high-performing DeMarini the Goods one-piece. All right, so we're gonna put the barrel rings on here. Yeah, it goes pretty much all the way through. And yeah, uh, definitely a much bigger barrel profile on this guy. Yeah, more in line with the goods one piece right here. So we'll set a little baseline with this guy first. Should be a lot lighter swing weight. Here's our BB core swing weights. Uh, here's where the goods one piece is. Here's where this bat is. And we expect that, uh, that gold Georgia Tech bat to be more down here with the goods. Pretty good barrel, 100 flat, kind of jammed. One thing this thing's lacking is probably going to be sweet spot. That's all I was going to get. I mean, good bat for $200, guys. 99, 420 feet, one more. Yep. We're gonna save this guy for towards the end of the video. Already got a little paint chippage right there. And we got the same baseballs for every hit right here. We have Rap Soto for exit velo testing. And we're gonna give you guys a little world premiere of this Project Power. Word on the streets is that Drew Burst is actually getting his own bat. So whenever this bat releases, I'm not sure when it's gonna release. I don't even know what the price point is. I had to pull some strings to get this bat, but it's probably not gonna look like this. It's probably gonna be a Drew Burris bat, which is crazy. We're in the NIL era now, so. It's gonna be a loud one. Yeah, a lot more barrel on it. This is a very, 103, very standard, heavy and loaded one piece alloy, which weirdly enough in today's BB core space is like one of the least saturated parts of the market. You have a ton of balanced one piece alloys, you have a ton of two-piece hybrids, but the slightly end-loaded one-piece is kind of a dying breed. That hands a little bit. Feels way better on the hands. Way better on the hands. 99, 397. Oh, dude. Cam, this is gonna be good. All right, let's open up. I'm gonna kind of give you guys a better camera angle here. Dude, that's loud. That's pretty good. Oof. Oh, our light's going out, dang it. 103, 437. Hundred and six. All right. We'll revisit this, but time for the goods one piece. Some great hitters hit with this bat. Braden Montgomery. Now he's gone deep to right field. Oh. Dude, this feels honestly amazing. 105. Dude, I'm not, I don't think I'm swinging that hard. 
That sounds so good. 102, 415. I don't know, dude. A lot different sound. That's already 106, bro. Well, I, th I think a lot of people were thinking that this 44 bat was magic. It may turn out that Drew Burris is just a really, really good hitter. I will say that 105, I will say the swing weight is almost the exact same. One oh five again. Okay, let's really open up with this. Hundred and seven. All right, same hack. Same hack with the forty four pro. Hundred and thirty. Swing weight might even be a touch, a touch heavier. Oh yeah. That's a ball. All right, 102, 439. Cam, what are you thinking from behind the screen right now? I thought the 44 was gonna be better. I think Drew's a monster. I think the Demarini has higher exit velo and a better sweet spot. I was probably gonna say the same thing. <laughs> it ain't over. It ain't over till it's over. Mmm, 105. Yep. Yep. Best hit of the day, bro. Best hit of the day. Dang it. 105. Gosh, it's just not quite there. Okay, right back to it. Right back to it. Same swing. Barely missed hands. It, dude. It's better, bro. <sighs> 103, 466, slight miss hit. That's one of the farthest balls I've hit here. That's the end of the bat, bro. Dude, for all of the overpriced things I say about Di Marini's, for all of the durability issues they've had in the past, they're freaking hot. <laughs> they're freaking hot. I'm barreling it better. I think it's a tiny bit lighter, a tiny bit more pop, a tiny bit more sweet spot. It, it, it sweeps it. My batting gloves are so sweaty. All right, much better. See ya, bro. 103, 443. 108. I've given it a lot of chances. The last chance. One oh four. Ah, that's touched. One oh seven. There it is. One oh five. To my disappointment, the more expensive bat wins. While we're here, very similar bat in the in the same category. I'm gonna give a couple hacks to the String King. This is gonna be the cheapest out of all of them at about hundred and sixty dollars. This feels just like that 44. It, it might be a little softer. 100, 417. 105, the barrel might be better on this. Just missed. 105, 400. That feels just like the 44. 106. Very end of the bat. Still 103. All right, keeping it very real with you guys. This is the highest performing bat here. This is the best bang for your buck bat here. This is unfortunately, in my opinion, somewhere right in the middle, but this is gonna be a good affordable bat. It's gonna be a good power hitters bat, maybe not an amazing power hitters bat, somewhere right in line with like the Omaha, for example, but hitters are gonna hit, man.
Drew Burris, you are very good at baseball. All right, folks, so grading our bats right here, the goods one piece is gonna kind of set the bar for our different bat bro scales. This is a 10 power, a seven sweet spot, a five swing weight, just a very slight end load on this. And then I, I would honestly say these are almost all the same swing weight, starting with the string king. Uh, sweet spot is right up there with the goods at a seven. Uh, swing weight, I think, is right there at a five, but power is just going to be slightly off. We're going to reel back the hype we had on this bat. It just kind of got bodied right there, honestly. So this is going to be a 795. And then this bat right here, guys, I mean, you could argue for a 795 to be a 21 overall. You could argue for a 695. So this is going to be anywhere from a 20 to a 21, probably a little bit on the lower end of our 21 scored bats right there again hitters hit guys if you're a good hitter this is going to get the job done but if we're splitting hairs i'm going to give it to the goods one piece today <laughs> 